I think it's much harder when you're a graduate student or a postdoc because you really have one project and, uh, and, and of course if it isn't going well um, you, you feel very sometimes very depressed and I, so I think that particularly when I was a postdoc and maybe early a younger faculty member when things weren't going well uh, we certainly I had periods where you know I, I think I was down and depressed but the the thing about science is that you can always you can always there's always another thing to try and what I what I learned early on is that if I was going to do an experiment I wanted to build into the experiment uh, a, a way of understanding if it failed why it failed and and I think it's really important to learn that because otherwise a failed experiment uh, is, is completely useless if you have no way of learning from it. And, and if you've learned from it, then if you understand why it didn't work, you, you have, you know, there's always something else you can try. And I, I always was able to, um, you know, we had a lot of failures, but it was always possible to say, okay, this is why this failed. Um, and you maybe read and, 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 or go to other meetings and, and people will come up Sometimes people suggest solutions to you, or you you look at a completely different area of science, and you can see I can apply that to my problem. So there's always hope. Uh, I've never been in a case in a, in a situation where I felt like the, there was definitely a wall that I was never going to be able to get around.